So here we go, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Oppo, the series where we get the lowdown on Town's next opponent, which is Port Vale at Portman Road in League One. I'm joined by Johnny from the Owl and Vow podcast. And Johnny, great to have you on. Uh, Daryl Clark has just been sacked. Um, how, how are you feeling? Yeah, um, confused, really. Look, if this was a purely footballing decision and you look at it on paper, two wins in 18 isn't good enough. But he's a bloke that's just got his promotion. It's the first season in League One. It's a League One that, since the last time we got relegated out of it, is a hell of a lot stronger. Um just to to be fair, it was quite funny actually. This this morning before the news broke, we were actually talking in the group chat about it. And the last season that we got relegated, Sheffield United won the league with hundred points. Um, it looks like that's not going to be matched, but Bolton was second on eighty six, and that's going to be smashed by two, maybe three clubs now. Um, and Scunthorpe were actually third on eighty on eighty two. Um, which that that's probably going to be beaten by sixth, fifth, fifth or sixth this time round, and then from there you add Fleetwood, Bradford, Millwall is the top six. When you look at that compared to today, when we've got Bolton, ex Premier League in there, Ipswich, ex Premier League in there, we've got Peterborough that are up and down spending money left, right, and centre all the time. Barnsley, ex Premier League, Derby, ex Premier League. Portsmouth, Charlton, that that's part. Do you know what I mean? Like the, the league now is in a completely different place than it was in 2016, 17 when we went down. So we know that we're a decent sized club, but without serious investment, 12th place in League One is probably as high as that we can look at. Shrewsbury have flirted with it every now and again for the last couple of seasons, but ultimately the bigger budgets pay off, don't they? So, I'm gutted he's gone. The bloke will go down as a legend, even after just two years. He he saved us from relegation, got us promoted, and then had a really good six months at the start of this season. Yes, it's been it's been poor this this last half, but convinced that there's more to it. Yeah, definitely. And like, I remember looking at a table a few months ago and going. Oh, Port Vale are fine, you know. They're going to be one of those teams that first season back in League One, staying up comfortably. But now, yeah, we're not many games to go and sacking a manager. New manager bounce and all that. Um, but that won't be coming in until um, after the Tuesday game, of course, against Town. Um, let quickly recap, Johnny, then, the, the last few months because, yeah, not a great run of form. What's that been down to? Just, you know, there's a lot of suspensions. Four players suspended for the game against us. Yeah, it started before that, to be honest with you. There's, we had, before Christmas, we had three of the four strikers we had out injured. We then went into the busy Christmas period with one fit striker who then took a knock. So we went with no fit strikers for about a month. Um, we then sorted that problem out almost by signing a striker in January. Um, and then as soon as the window closed, two of our defenders within the space of three games then got injured, um, which doesn't help anyone. So I don't want I don't want to go out with like a woe is me sort of story because that's not what it is. It's football at the end of the day, you get injuries, you get suspensions, you you, you lose a goal to something that's a refereeing decision, but ultimately we all know it pretty much evens itself out over the course of a season. We know that. But we have had a lot of injuries. Our home pitch is a cause of that. It's it's not in the best quality, and there's there's been talk about it being um, sorted out in the summer. But you know, there's, there's there's lots of little things here and there that we can point at and go, that's an issue. That's an issue. But ultimately, we've just had a run of horrid luck, and that's that that's the be all end all of it. Really, we we went to Bolton, for example, and we were the better team. Um, we were 2 0 up against Portsmouth and we ended up drawing 2 all. We, uh, we played Oxford the other day, and their keeper, who they'd been slating for weeks, had the best game of his life. So, 
we were just we're in that form of we're we're a team down on the luck, and you know yourself when you're down on your luck, everything goes against you. We we just need that that catalyst now. And Saturday felt like it might have been that with the keeper getting sent off and getting a penalty, being away, go, getting equalised and then going two one up early doors. But getting two red cards in the game is, is isn't going to help yourself. So we've seen the statement, we've seen that it says senior players have have been speaking up in the last week or so, which is a worry because they might be speaking up against the manager, but they haven't been stepping up on the pitch. So rather than moaning and groaning to, to whoever, they're pointing on the pitch. Some of these players are playing for careers and we, we've got a structure, we've got a setup, but something's gone wrong and there's there's a lot of finger pointing at the minute going on at multiple places. Yeah. And I've, I've seen the timeline, the Port Vale timeline, and uh, fans are not happy, are they? They, they think this is the wrong decision, the wrong time to do it. Maybe do it at the end of the season if you guys stay up or relegation or whatever. But, you know, that that's what it's looking like on the timeline, Johnny. And you, as you said, you know, you were shocked with this decision. And, you know, we, funny enough, we recorded a, a Mediopo last night, Sunday night, um, to prepare for this game. And then we uh, messaged each other in the morning and went, we're going to have to redo this. So this, this is take two, Johnny. Um, but... You know, how are you feeling now going into the game? Now you've got no manager, players maybe was maybe the reason why that you know Darrell Clark got sacked and gonna be taken on a very informed town side. Yeah, I suppose the only thing you can say is that if their players were seriously that unhappy, that they've got they've got the chance now to go and show it. Is it the perfect off position to go and go, go and do that? No, obviously not. You guys are flying. So, is it the perfect opportunity for a new, like Andy Crosby's taking over, and it looks like he's taking over till the end of the season? Um, is it the perfect opportunity for him? Yeah, really, it's free hit, isn't it? That we're expected to lose to you, so he can go there, meet expectations almost, and then we get two or three players back, maybe in two at times Saturday, and things change. You saw. Similarly, as happened at Leicester at this weekend, sat the manager, Dean Smith's first games, Man City. Expectation is you're going to get beat. They get beat, but second half, they played really well. So he's come out with a bit of credit. That's kind of like the way up now. I do... My feelings haven't changed towards the game. I still think we're going to get battered. We haven't got enough players to, to change that unless a couple of them have been throwing it in and turn up fully fit, which I don't think will go down very well, but it's it's, it's going to be a weird atmosphere now Tuesday night is. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. And of course, you know, this is the first time Port Vale have gone to Portland Road since 2000. Uh, you know, I know you're going your first trip down to Suffolk, so um, I hope you do enjoy it, my friend. But uh, yeah, it'll be an interesting day um, for Port Vale and for the rest of the season. Have you got Plymouth on the final day, Johnny? That's a big moment for, for us, you know, get a result there. I was going to say new manager bounce, but if Andy Crosby is going to stay in charge, hopefully he can get a result there. But um, but any other business, Johnny? You know, we can talk about the players in and out, but um, it's all about Port Vale at the moment with Darrell Clark going. You know, the runner form is not great. You know, the way form, yeah. T- t- what, other, what other things you want to mention, my friend? Yeah, I, I, I just think, Luke, it's, it's, it's one of them, isn't it, at the minute with, with meeting you guys and, Plymouth and Charlton at this stage of the season, you you've got to play the the teams doing well at some stage. You just hope that you you catch them earlier on in the season or once it's done and dusted. So we we've got a big say in it, and we need it. We we need points to stay up. Um, I do reckon that we could not get another point and still stay up due to fixtures, but you're taking a huge gamble there. We 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 kind of need to pull this back in our hands and. A point probably does it, but that's on the on the on the basis that we shake hands now and you you agree to a one nil, one nil. We agree to losing one nil, and we all move on happy. If you put five, six, seven past us, which we know you're capable of, you've you've done it enough times this season, and you only did, you did it Saturday against the team that was the informed team in the league at the time. So yeah, if you do that, then that's going to hit our goal difference and. That's going to put us in a 
a different position than we're in at the minute. So who knows at the minute? That's yeah, it's 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 a hard one to take. Um Definitely, man. Definitely, man. Yeah, I do. I do feel for you when you when you sacking a manager when a manager gets sacked and is a manager that you like, and as you said, he will go down as a legend. How can you get promoted? Um, but yeah, final bit of notes, Johnny. Is maybe just mention one player quickly. Ellis Harrison um, will be returning to Portland Road, of course. Sign for you guys, your top goal scorer. Um, will he feature? Do you reckon? I'll quickly bring up the last eleven. Um, he's not in this eleven here. Of course, your your captain is suspended for this game. You've got four players suspended. Um, but Ellis Harrison, um, is he going to feature Drecken? And I'm sure he'll be up for this one. Um, you asked me this question yesterday and I said yes. You're asking me today and I honestly haven't got a clue now. It depends if we deviate from the three, five, two, three, four what formation. I'd be tempted to say yes. He's he's our most important player in both boxes. Um, he, he he defends corners really well. Um, he obviously he's a striker, so he, he does that side of it really well. He holds the ball up, links up well. Can be a bit petulant at times. He when things aren't going his way, he, he puts in a strikers challenge or two. We've seen him get a few yellow cards, but overall, Alex Harrison has been great for us. Um, he's a workhorse. Um, there's there's only been one game really that since we've had him that springs to mind where you think, yeah, he, he didn't he, that he didn't put it in that day. So hopefully he's coming to your your place and thinking I've got something to prove here. So yeah, we'll wait and see. I know I know he's um got got, got a nice connection with Daryl Clark, so I'm sure he's disappointed. He's you know his manager been sacked, I'm sure, and all that sort of stuff. But um anyway. Johnny, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, Say trip down to Port Vale. No. <laughs> <laughs> your Port Vale, where is your town? Um, but any other business, my friend? Anything else you want to mention? Um, big games to come. Yeah, obviously, let's like say we, we've got some. We've got some big games coming up after yourself, so it'll be interesting to see how things go, um, and it'd just be nice um, if you can. If you could help us out a little bit by beating Fleetwood on the final day, because I know they're not quite in there, but you know, any, any points that you could take off teams in and around it is is going to help us. Definitely, mate. Well, um, gentlemen, handshake right here. Beat Plymouth on the final day. That would be very helpful indeed. Uh, yeah. Mike, thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. If you're going to the game, enjoy. If you're not, follow the game with us. Bye bye for now. <laughs>